Let's ramp up selection a little bit. Let's say that we have an image such as this one, which we do because I have it right here, which is why I'm showing it to you. We're going to ignore my previous times uh, working with this image. And let's say that we want to uh, select this from the background. Now, if I were to use the wand tool, uh, I'm not having too much success with it right here. So I'm going to actually increase the tolerance and let's increase that to uh, 50 and it's not doing a particularly good job. Uh, so I'm going to put it on contiguous and 50 is doing a pretty good job. Now I showed you that if you pressed shift select you could add to a selection. That's not only true of when you're using the uh, rectangular marquee tool. You can actually do that with any of the three selection tools. So if I hold down shift, notice that a plus sign appears right there. And now, if I do that with all of these different areas right here, I can actually do a pretty good job of getting this selection how I want it. I need to adjust it further, but it's a pretty good job. Let's actually bring this down to 40 and uh, try it again. Now, this is a pretty good job, but it's just bad enough that it's awful. So, so there's that. There, there's, there's that right there. Uh, so instead of using this, let's see what happens if we use the lasso tool. So I'm going to zoom in a bunch, which is generally what I do when I'm using the lasso tool. And I'm just going to select around. And already you can tell that trying to select around this entire object with the lasso tool is excruciating. So I wouldn't want to do it that way.